Well, the mission to feed the hungry continues while schools are closed and people are out of work during this coronavirus outbreak. Ten on your side's Madison Glassman takes us to a Virginia Peninsula Food Bank drive through where a local lawmaker gave back to the community. Volunteers in Hampton helped feed the community all morning long, but more protective measures were taken in this time of social distancing. Pull right to the cone right here. How you doing today? These volunteers are used to holding distribution events. But the coronavirus has changed the way it's done, but hasn't changed the mission. The limited contact is the number one thing. We want to protect our clients. We want to protect ourselves as best we can because we want to eliminate this virus and cancel out as fast as we can. About 100 community members lined up and were handed food in their cars by volunteers wearing gloves and masks. <laughs> All right, we got some boxes here. That includes Congresswoman Elaine Luria. It is incredibly important for me to, to come out, be able to help with the volunteers to distribute the food and, um, you know, just really be able to thank uh, the Peninsula Food Bank, the Food Bank of Southeastern Virginia and the Eastern Shore. I had an opportunity to visit the food bank up in Accomack County um, about a week and a half ago, and everybody is working so hard um, to get food out. Saved your little pocket right there. Luria also stressed the importance of making sure our local food banks get help in return. This is just a great great opportunity to help people in the community and, and they need our help as well. Um, they rely um, heavily on donations. Um, so, you know, people watching, please think about supporting your local food bank. To learn how you can get involved with local food banks and distribution events in the future, you can visit wavy.com. In Hampton, Madison Glassman, 10 on your side.